I am in the truck on my way down to Packwood and then up to um, the Goat Rocks. I'm going to do a, probably a three night little trip um, starting at Berry Patch Trailhead, going up Goat Ridge to Goat Lake, then over to um, the PCT, probably camp at High Camp, do Old Snowy and um, the Knife Edge, come back camp again. I may go as far back on the PCT as Sispis Pass, um, or at least Sispis Basin, and then go back on the trail, I think it's Snowgrass Flats Trail, via the Bypass Trail, and back to the trailhead. I'm doing this uh, because uh, last year when Zandamander and I were in the Goat Rocks, we were robbed of views by clouds. It, we didn't get to see anything, so that was really a bummer. So, and then I was going to possibly go with Gal Pals to um, an overnight or a couple nights um, uh, in Snoqualmie, but um, Flash is helping her dad and had some work things to do, and Lipstick was not feeling very well, and also had a doctor's appointment that she has to go to tomorrow. And then a little one just lost her dog, Remy. So, my Gal Pal hikers were out, and um, I just want to get out in the woods again for one last time and it's really beautiful. Um, there might be some smoke from the Goat Rocks fire, but I think it's going to be blowing away from me. So that's my plan. I will take lots of video and pictures on the trail. So far, clear though. It's beautiful. smoke is pretty thick. Hopefully we will be through it soon. And uh, but yeah, it's really thick. Um, but I, I'm going south of the fire. This is as close as I'm going to get to the fire. Um, it's interesting to experience. The, uh, the sky, I don't know if you can even tell, it's orange. Really freaky. Yep, it's really thick. Stick would not like this and um, I just have the all the vents closed and I'm wearing a mask but I know I'm gonna get through it so but it's kind of an interesting experience and I'm glad I'm having it to be in such a close area to where a fu an active fire is and um, kind of almost makes me really scared for the people that are around here that and have to live like this. So I'm hoping that they get it out soon. Hey, this is the worst road. I have 15 miles and it says it's going to take me like an hour. Well, that's because it's awful. People doesn't think it would be, but I have no fillings left in my teeth. like these that I wonder what the hell am I doing driving for four hours I am in the middle of nowhere on this horrible road driving 10 but it's clear I hope this is worth it so I really wish I hadn't watched Jeffrey Dahmer thing because I'm freaking myself out a little bit here. I feel like I'm getting so far out here and I'm more concerned about like getting a flat tire and um, you know being kind of stranded on the road than I am worried about uh, you know being on the trail. On the trail we're all good but who knows who's got some big gnarly four by four or whatever we hear. But I don't think they drive this far to kill somebody, hopefully. But we'll see. I want to get myself into these things. I'm really a lot more appreciative of Eric. I love you, Eric, for driving Sandamander and I here last year. He had to drive this back. I'm going to have to drive this back too, but did it all in one day. It's probably like eight hours of 
driving. So. I drive anything more, I'm driving less than five. If I drive anything more than five, it's not the, not potholes, it's the, the, um, the, uh, incessant, um, whatever those things are called, little bumps, 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 bumps. This is awful. I'm, I need an attitude adjustment. I'm nauseous. I have a headache. My hands and feet are tingling. <sighs> I don't want to go any further. I don't know how much further I have, but I, I left, it's 2.30 and I left the house at 10 and I've been on this road for over an hour. So I still have more to go. So I've had an attitude adjustment. I got to the trailhead. I've been hiking about an hour. And this is the first um, view I have over toward Gold Rocks. I think that's looking back toward Sussex Basin. Not exactly sure. But it's beautiful. And it's four o'clock. And I can have a little rest. And I'm just gonna go and sit myself down right here. Have a little rest. But it's clear blue skies, so that is lifting my spirits. Just being in the woods, as long as I don't have to drive anymore, I'm happy. dry stream. Luckily, I have an adult beverage to drink with dinner. Demander, it's the remains of the truffle trees. That's where I'm going. You can kind of see the trail go up that. I think we're going to go between that rock and this ridge. But over here, huge campsite. This is where I think I originally thought I would stay tonight. But as per usual, it's too early. Oh, what a huge campsite. Yeah, no, nobody's here, but I'm not staying either. Going on. to get water <clears throat> I turned around there's a beautiful view of St. Helens now first glimpses of Adams thought I was going to camp down there kept going all the way up here and then I've got this little basin <clears throat> thought about camping here but I really think I just want to get up to that saddle Gonna get some water. Ooh, ooh, water from that stream. Head on up. This is not what I expected or wanted. This is the saddle right there that um, is now going down over there to sheep. Uh, Goat Lake. I don't want to go all the way to Goat Lake tonight. I wanted to camp in this saddle. But as you can see, there ain't no soft, flat spots. 
This might work, but I'm very exposed. <laughs> so I might go back down there. Damn. Half a mile, like a couple hundred feet. But on the good side, there's Adams. Hardly ever awake for sunset, but I'm gonna see the sunset. You can't see it because it's focusing on me, but it's gonna be really pretty. The smoke is good for one thing. Um, I ended up going all the way up to this saddle up here, thinking that's where I was gonna camp, but um, when I got up there, it was so rocky and there was no space whatsoever. So I did a mortal sin and turned around and um, ended up back in this basin. So I am all by myself. There's nobody else around. I've seen two people all day. Um, it's gorgeous, but wow. Why am I by myself? This is, this is fabulous. Anyway, I'm going to about to have dinner. Um, I'm having a little pre-dinner hard alcohol hard cider um, adult beverage because I deserve it and that was my luxury item since I didn't bring a chair. Instead of a three pound chair I brought a one pound extra battery so I don't have to worry about my phone or my Garmin or my, or, you know, my headlamp and an adult beverage which is what a pound. Uh, so I have two pounds of luxury instead of three. I like that. Therma rest, all blown up. Time to go in the tent. It goes above the little uh, other one. I can't remember the name of it. And then there's all my sleeping bag stuff. There's my clothes. Oh, here's my ditty bag. I gotta get out my charger and charge my phone. Get out my headlamp. That's my normal, normal routine, is I have everything in the same place every night. It's for dinner, you ask? Well, besides the Mike's hard lemonade, or whatever it is that I'm drinking, it is beef stroganoff, nor beef stroganoff, and I added some um, freeze-dried beef to it, so it should be really yummy. So let's just sit for a while, and I may put it back on the stove. Um, have a lot of food because I didn't eat lunch today. I forgot to eat my lunch. I just uh, hiked because I got here at three. I'm gonna go check out the sunset over here and then eat my dinner and probably then go to bed. This is literally beyond words. Mount St. Helens, so many layers and layers and layers of mountains. I'm by myself, yet I feel safe. The mountains, the rocks, the colors, everything around me, the little speakers that are squeaking, the babbling brook. God, I think I'm in heaven. I needed this to refresh my soul.
the day-to-day -day being busy with animals. I love my animals. And kids. Oh my God, I love my kids. But just being able to do nothing but sit here and enjoy this is such a gift. My phone is not even doing this justice. I need to go to bed, but it's not even 8 o'clock. Oh, our world is beautiful.